Well, hey, everybody, it's August 2nd, and we are uh, Kelly and Kathy, and this is Away We Go 2.0. We're heading out on our first official venture, adventure, with uh, our new Airstream uh, scooter, which we have decided is going to be uh, uh, a he or a she, because I was called Scooter when I was a kid, and Kathy was called Scooter when she was a kid. So, Scooter is an it. Okay, so we're heading to Chester Frost Park outside of Chattanooga. This is our first uh, uh, excursion out with it. We drove down 900 something miles when we bought it from New Jersey. Uh, stayed three nights in at that time, but that was uh, most definitely a getting to know you type of trip. And uh, not that we know that much more now, but uh, we're a little bit ahead of, of where we were, I think. So uh, heading up to Chattanooga, and I think this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be water and electric, no septic, but I think a dump station. But it has a dump station. So yeah, we'll I just be, we'll be clean before we leave there. Yeah, I hate the thought of tearing down and whatever. But we're only well, going to be there a couple of days. We're going to do it on the way out. Yeah, we're only going to be there a couple of days. It's no big deal, really. But um, and it's included. So it's twenty-five dollars a night because well, we're non-residents of Tennessee, but uh, veterans. So they have different categories. If yeah. you're if you're Tennessee resident and whatever other thing you are, that's a discount. If you're non-resident and you're a veteran or disability, or they have different categories. And I don't know if it changes the price, but that was the price we got, twenty-five dollars. Yeah. If you're military and you're traveling, always ask because they you got a fifty-fifty chance, yes or no. So uh, anyway, it's a little muggy, a little sticky. We're gonna go ahead and uh, hit the road, get uh, buttoned up here, and uh, we'll we'll uh, talk to you on the way up about that freaking tag right there that's the thousand dollar tag no now, it's actually the two thousand well i don't know where you're getting your prices it was twelve hundred something dollars twelve hundred from up there then we had to pay the rest oh, of the i'm not counting i'm not i'm just paying i just know what anyway, we paid and they yeah whatever. that tag is gold we'll get back to you yeah okay so before we go we're going to check the cable make sure it's in chains are good breakaway cable's good Get it up here out of the ground so it doesn't drag. Lock is good. Check the other chain on the other side. Pin's in place. This pin is in place in here. Stabilizer. Everything's buttoned up. I don't have a tire pressure gauge now. My fault on that. And let's see what else. Check on this side. Windows are closed. Vents are closed. Power's good. Stairs are not up. These stairs are going to be the death of me, I'm telling you. Hopefully that's not literal, but checking the door, make sure it's locked so when we pull into a gas station, someone doesn't walk off with our stuff. Check this side. That pin is good. Pin here. Chain is good. Check this side of the hitch. Everything's buttoned down. Windows are closed. I think we are good. Alrighty, let's go. Okay, so we're on the way to Chattanooga. Uh, the, uh, so the tag, we were talking about the tag earlier. This is a, a huge piece of advice that no one ever gave us on any of the, uh, the, the videos we watched or um, anywhere else. So we're from Alabama. We bought our Airstream in New Jersey at Colonial RV. Lakewood, New Jersey, good guys, yeah, whatever. But the problem was uh, they estimated what the Alabama sales tax was going to be, and they wrote us a check made out to our county back home to get our tag and so forth. The problem was they either had outdated information or they miscalculated it or whatever, but they gave us a, uh, a check for a thousand something dollars or whatever and that was supposed to cover the sales tax <clears throat> not the tag mind you just the sales tax uh, made out to our county we went down yesterday to get the tag for uh, the Airstream and it was an additional thousand dollars thousand plus and so uh, our advice to you if you're buying if you live in one state and you found the RV of your dreams and it's an out-of-state purchase new especially you need to make sure that you do the uh, the legwork and investigate what your state sales tax or county tax whatever is going to be because that was a thousand dollars we certainly didn't budget for and didn't anticipate yet if we want to drive legally we have to do it and it, the tag expires tomorrow so we had really no choice 
So just uh, make sure you do your own due diligence, investigate that sales tax so that you don't get to donate $1,000 to the county slush fund. Catch you down the road. Okay, so we've checked in here at Chester Frost Park outside of Chattanooga, Tennessee on Lake Chickamauga, Tennessee River. Beautiful area, beautiful park. Friendly staff. Uh, it's a big park. I, I don't know how many spaces it has. It's campsites, it's uh, tents and RVs, pull through, back in, drive, you know, whatever. But a uh, little bit of everything, but it's a really beautiful park. If you come here, the address they have on their website is not exactly where the check-in is you go about another half mile maybe for the actual check-in but um anyway it's just a beautiful area nice cool day today it's 86 but it doesn't really feel like it uh, chattanooga's got a little altitude so humidity's not as bad as some places but um anyway gonna go on in get set up and uh go visit our son nice spaces. You got a beautiful beach area back there a little ways back when you first come in. Really nice well-maintained sand beaches on the lake, swimming areas and so forth. Rates for retired military here are $25. Online it was on this paper. Yeah. yeah, online is $25 a night and that's what we got. All right, here's the pavilion we're supposed to be looking for. Uh, online, the rates were 25, I think. Uh, on the paperwork they gave us, it's 27 or 28. Well, the inland is 27, 08. That's with, if you're a veteran of the military, senior or disabled. So you have to just read it. It's, yeah. it's different prices. Variety prices. It's 30 and under, let's put it like that. Yeah, residents, <laughs> non-residents, disabled veterans, disabled yeah. veterans, military. If you're just a non-Hamilton County resident, then your waterfront is 30 and your inland is 28.50. So that's the highest price I see on here is 30. Yeah. So ba you just go down from there. So your spots a little bit lower where you want it. Tent and utilities is a price. Tent primitive is a price. So 30 and under basically. Yeah. You now that's uh, everything except sewer. And they have dump stations, and that's why. And they've got a dump station, and actually, I was going to try to find one. We've got a few gallons. I wanted to get rid of it. Yeah. So, um, anyway, it, just a really beautiful area. Well, okay, so we're um, going to go and close out today. We're taking a little longer to our son's house. Uh, we're going to try to load some things up. They're moving to a different place. So, uh, Anyway, pretty successful day today. Got everything hooked up, no glitches. Used some of the uh, uh, the tools and stuff that we've uh, purchased and some of the trades and techniques, whatever. But anyway, so far, so far, uh, so far, so good uh, on day one at Cheshire Frost uh, Park outside Chattanooga, Tennessee. Hickson, Tennessee. Hickson, Tennessee, outside Chattanooga. Good chance to look it up. It's on uh, all stays and. Uh, Hamilton County Parks and Rec or something like that. Just Google it. Chester Frost Park, Chattanooga, Tennessee. So that's it. We're going to shut it down for today. We'll get this posted on YouTube and uh, Facebook. We'll catch you down the road. Hey, if you like it, share. Like it, share, subscribe. Tell somebody something good about us and uh, catch you down the road. Peace.